you know campaigns and movements create change and today we are seeing rise of whole new social change movements and campaigns all around us because young people have a lot of ideas but they lack space and opportunities and connections and resources to make all of this happen and that's where the birth of campaign incubator as a program um, came into existence and we designed this program it was the first time that we launched it last year and our purpose was to bring youth campaigners activists community organizers together and really learn how to design a campaign strategically um, and win it. So we started speaking to other campaigners and organizers to understand what is the system or the platform that we can create for these young leaders. So boom, we have a six month program. We get experts who will actually address the campaigners needs. And then we have applicants from across South Asia. And then we ended up incubating three really unique campaigns. Just try. Wow. Okay, uh, Ramsha, I think we are on air. So, hi, this is Rudrani and uh, from India, and this is my friend Ramsha Balaj from Pakistan. We were just uh, trying to sing each other's national anthems. Since Chaiki Dukan's mission is to uplift stories of bonds and friendships between Indians and Pakistanis online, our first goal was to make our campaign visible and touch people's hearts. It became difficult initially to convince people to give up their stories, you know, uh, given the socio-political conditions we live in, and uh, we really needed a strong narrative to do so. We worked with Haya to use the tool of storytelling to transform our personal experiences into powerful campaign narratives that people could relate to. We presented at the UN and got immense support. And that was just the beginning. We uh, got more support online and we even gave a TED talk. I organically came across students who were fighting for better sexual harassment redressal system on various college campuses to hold the uh, authorities accountable. So we decided to hold workshops on the functionality of ICCs so that students know, um, you know where to go, what to do in case of any unfortunate incident of a sexual harassment case. Uh, mobilizing the students was the biggest challenge that I was facing uh, but with the campaign incubation program um, uh, the way I approached the colleges changed a lot. We introduced a very interesting tactic, uh, the listening exercise. The most important skill set that this uh, program could provide was prioritization. Going forward, we would like to take these ICC workshops to various colleges and simultaneously build an ICC volunteer base uh, where we can approach students, where the students can approach us. We finally decided on a campaign which is to make JP Nagar Bengaluru's first waste-free ward. Since this also requires a lot of on-ground work, we partnered with Hasirul Allah, an organization that's been working with waste pickers for a long time. With them, we went on clean up round and uh, accompanied waste pickers uh, and did waste segregation in front of um, the residents and taught them how to segregate waste. The skills that campaigners need the most in a country like India is learning how to um, deal with the government, how to mobilize communities and these are areas where the campaign incubator program really helps an incubator. really unique thing about the program is that it uh, connects you to actual activists who are working on the field and therefore are in a fantastic position to give you advice on how to take your campaign off the ground and create actual impact. There is a huge dearth of incubation programs like the Haya Campaign Incubator Program. Um, and so I think this program is a great, great one that helps fill in that deficit we have in India. If you have an idea or a campaign for social impact, no matter how small or how big it is, I would highly recommend 
that you go for this program. You should definitely join the next edition of the Campaign Incubator program. Thank you.